This video is part of a series on building a production-ready Chrome extension. And in this video, we will work on message passing between different parts of our Chrome extension. Um, so in the first video, we went over the major parts of a Chrome extension. They are the content scripts that run on web pages. Um, they could run on all the web pages or just the ones that you inject them to. The pop-up, and that's basically the, um, the thing that pops up when you click on the extension itself. And then the service worker, also known as background script, that is always running. So these three parts are basically three separate, separate pieces of code, but we want them to communicate with each other. For example, if I go to my pop-up and I enable or disable the functionality of my Chrome extension, I want my content script that's actively running on the web page and perhaps my background script as well to actually know and change its functionality accordingly. So how can we pass messages back and forth? Well, we already kind of do that um, by using Chrome storage, right? Let's look at the code. And this code is, uh, is you know, we're gonna be building on the previous video where we added TypeScript support and the Webpack bundler. So in this code, we use things like this, Chrome storage sync. So we're using the Chrome Storage API at the start to get uh, the value enabled. And then if we change our slider, we store that value enabled. So theoretically, our context script could be checking this value continuously. Um, of course, this is uh, kind of inefficient, um, consumes a lot of resources and uh, not recommended. So the recommended way to communicate between different parts of the extension is to use um, the send message API. So let's just jump right into it. So let's say we want to pass a message from the pop-up script to our context script. So basically when I open the extension and I move this slider back and forth, I want my context content script to know that change. So in order to pass the message from pop-up to web page, we need to use um, the tabs send message API. So let's just go ahead and code it up right now. So we're in the pop-up here. We listen for the change in our slider. And here, and here we want to pass the message right here. So we're going to start coding. Uh, let's see, send message, content script. So we're going to query all the tabs. And then for each tab, we're going to send a message to that tab ID. So when you're sending a message to the contact script, you need to use chrome.tabs. Let's see what the error here is. It's saying um, this is not an async method. We can make it async. Okay. So we're going to send a message saying uh, whether the, the extension is enabled or not to each tab. And then um, when we get a response, we're just going to print the response. And the response in the response will send the title and the URL of that tab. Uh, note this tab tab object also has properties like tab.title. So theoretically, we could know the exact tab title, so we could control which tab we're sending the message to. Um, but if you want to control the tabs, you need to um, you need to add additional host permissions in your manifest.json, which we're not going to do uh, at this point. Okay, so we're sending a message to our context content script. So let's go to our content script and receive the message. All right, so you know we got a bunch of code, and we basically to receive the message, we're gonna create a new section where we're gonna receive the message. 
Okay, we're gonna listen for messages from the pop-up. Um, this is the actual message. And if it's enabled, we're gonna print a message. And then we're gonna call this observe method, which we're gonna refactor this. So let's create this observe method right here. Function observe. This is what we want, document, blah, blah, blah. This is right. I'm gonna add this check up here. Let's just add this check. Okay, let's format this. Okay, observe. So we're refactoring. Move this comment here as well. Okay. That looks that looks fine. And if we disable, we're gonna stop observing. Uh, so we're gonna disconnect. Uh, and then on the response, we're actually gonna send the title of this tab and the URL of this tab. All right, so let's actually try running this. So we're gonna do uh, npm run start. So with the Webpack bundles our code and continuously watches for changes. Let's go here, let's go to our extensions. And I don't remember where I loaded this extension from originally, so let me just get rid of it. Let's remove it. And let's load um, load another one. So we have it's called Create Chrome Extension, and we're uh, we're modifying uh, our start point here. Let's load it. All right. So let's review exactly what do we expect here. Okay. So when the pop up, oops, when the pop up happens, it sends a message. And then the context content scripts says received message. Okay, so let's let's try it out. Close this, this. let me open, um, open a new tab. Let's go to this page. And we want to see what's going on. Okay see all the messages then we want to we want to watch the pop-up so we right click inspect pop-up and the windows are, are up here so let's toggle this toggle okay you see here um the content script received message from sender and this ID right here is the extension ID here. And it received enable true. Unfortunately, I closed the pop-up already. So let me try this again. Let me open the pop-up. Spec pop-up. Let's do this again. And then in the pop-up over here, it received response from tab with title. And you can see that is the tab I have open and the URL, URL matches. Um, we also see these pop-up could not send a message to tab, blah, blah, blah. Um, well, one reason you see this message is I already have um, a few tabs open in another, in another window. And those tabs don't have, um, don't have the latest context, content script because I didn't reload them. Yeah, I need to reload the tab to get the latest content script that I just modified. Uh, another reason you might see these messages is because some tabs, uh, specifically like Chrome.extension, so this is like a system tab. So this tab doesn't, can't receive messages. Only like the normal web browsing tabs can receive messages. All right, so we, we showed how we can send a message from the pop-up to the content script. Okay, how about 
we want to send a message from the pop-up to the service worker, also known as the um, background script. So it's a little different API. So let's go back to our pop-up. So here we're sending messages to each tab by the tab ID. So let's now send a message to our, um, our service worker. So that's actually a slightly different API. So let's do it right here. So instead of using Chrome tab send message, we will use Chrome runtime send message. And we're not gonna do anything special. Um, Let's go to the background script and receive that message. So you receive message in the background script the same way you receive it in the uh, content script. See on, method, on message, add listener, we'll listen. We can see if there's an enabled field here and we log it and send the response. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and try this. We know our webpack is reloading, reloading the values. So we go back here, we reload the service, uh, the extension, reload the page. Let's go ahead and see. Spec pop up, send. Um, so you notice the when you inspect the pop-up, it will also print messages from the background script. So it's kind of a combined development um, development view here. So you see the message from the service worker. Service worker received the message. And then pop-up, it sent it to the tab. So it got that message back from the tab. And then it also received the message from the service worker right here. Okay, so we showed how the pop-up can send a message to content script and to the service worker. So now, how does a content script send a message back to the pop-up? Well, in order to send a message back to the pop-up, you basically would, would use this API, Chrome runtime on message, right? So you would just do something like that in the pop-up. Let's see, where could it send a message? Um, say, say it was done processing. Uh, no, this is a, a, in, the, in the content script. So it was done observing, and for some reason you wanted to send a message back here. You could do like something like this. Um, okay, I um, picked the wrong thing. Uh, you would pick the send message, not the not the listen to message. So send message in the content script. You would you would do this here, um, and then you would you know put some kind of message here. Message. I'm done with observe. Um, for example, say you wanted the. Uh, um, so this message, first of all, this message will go to both the pop-up and to the background script. So suppose you wanted the background script to do something. Uh, one thing a background script could do is it could inject some CSS into the page or inject additional JavaScript in the page. It could also remove CSS or JavaScript it injected earlier. So if you want the background script to do that, um, you can send a message saying, hey, I'm done with whatever I'm doing, do your injection. Um, so you would basically use this uh, send message API. Uh, so lesson here is when you wanna send a message to pop-up or background, you use Chrome runtime send message. If you wanna send a message to the content script, you use Chrome tabs send message. And when receiving messages, in both cases, you use the uh, Chrome runtime on message add listener, right? Pretty simple. Um, all right, so in the next video,
we're going to be looking at some linting and formatting tools for our Chrome extension. Um, so these tools will kind of increase the quality of our code and most importantly, increase engineering velocity of projects by making the code more consistent, uh, which is important when you have multiple developers and important when you have junior developers as well.